program, Immaculate Mary attempts to become the world's loudest rock band. It was loud. Man, was it loud. We'll be back with the amps turned up to 11 for an attempt on the loudest band record. When Armand Schubroff was young, he couldn't decide on a career direction. He could have been an artist, he could have been a thief, or he could have been a singer in a rock and roll band. As it turned out, he became a retailer, and he now runs the world's largest music store. The House of Guitars in Rochester, New York, is crammed to the roof with every musical instrument known to rock and roll. For some Americans, it's a place of worship, a sort of heavy metal heaven, a place where noise is born. Of course, guitars have pride of place. At last count, there were over 3,000 of them. This is Armin's brother, Bruce. Kramer electric guitar, autographed by Eddie Van Halen. If you can't play music, why not buy some? At the House of Guitars, the biggest problem is choosing from the four and a half million records and tapes on display. From Mozart to Meatloaf, you'll find it here. Some people spend their entire vacation pouring through one of the world's largest record collections. And if they get lost, one of the 40 staff will put them on the right track. Actually, this record-breaking record store comes from quite humble beginnings. Back in 1963, Arnold Shawbrook was serving parole after doing 18 months for burglary. Now, despite the fact that in this state it's illegal for convicted felons to own a business, Armin managed to set up a small shop under his mum's house. There, he sold a few guitars and generally laid low until his parole had finished. I got together a couple thousand dollars that I got from working on a meat market on Front Street. And my brothers had another two grand from paper routes and odd jobs. We invested that into guitars because it was either guitars or art supplies. And when we wrote to distributors and stuff and contacted them, uh, instruments was harder to get into. So we picked that. And at the time, we uh, would sell directly to young people or other music stores or like a jewelry store or something. Uh, look, but don't touch. Come back with mom and dad. I would put a guitar in a young person's hand and plug it in and say, play it. Now, if Armand Schulbrook looks like the type your mother warned you about, don't let her see his television commercials. <laughs> the store that eats your brain also eats your wallet. The world's best rock and roll retailers turn over more than a million dollars every year. I came in for a tape and I ended up buying 153 CDs. And I don't even have a CD player. We managed to get every single franchise you could possibly have. Um, you know, every major brand will have it. We're not pushing a particular line or anything. And we also go on a volume sales. We discount everything and try not to make that much on one item. We would rather sell 10 or 20 of it and go for a higher volume and make the same amount that way. about high volume, he's not just thinking about sales. Tonight, he wants to blast into rock and roll history by playing the loudest song in the world. He's enlisted the help of his second brother, Blaine, and the heavy metal band, Immaculate Mary. The accepted world record for loudness is held by the British group, The Who. In 1976, at a concert in London, technicians recorded a reading of 120 decibels, measured 50 metres or 164 feet from the stage. Armand and Immaculate Mary's leader, Tom Brunette, are confident they can beat it. That's it. You like to play loud. It's just a feeling of energy, and it's the only way to listen to it. I, it's the way I felt. That's the way I was brought up, you know. On a makeshift stage at the House of Guitars, the attempt is looking good, which is more than can be said for the sound. Immaculate Mary have a big following in New York State, but tonight they're foregoing harmony for volume. 
The attempt is being monitored on a sound pressure level meter, and at 25 meters or 80 feet from the speaker stacks, it's just registered 125 decibels. That's five decibels below the threshold of pain, and only slightly quieter than a jet engine at the same distance. Just as well someone remembered the earplugs. Well, the boys are doing it very easily. Inside, the noise is just unbearable. Even out here on the street, a meter reading a couple of moments ago read 120 decibels. The House of Guitars is really rocking tonight. Just for the record, you're listening to the sound of 20 200 watt amplifiers driving 20 woofer cabinets put through a 4,000 watt public address system, equivalent to 240 family stereos at full volume in a small room. It sort of grows on you, doesn't it? Anyway, at the 50 metre mark, the group is clocked at 123 decibels, and that's a new world record. So, after 12,000 watts RMS and a massive drain on Rochester's domestic power supply, everyone is happy. Everyone, that is, except the neighbours. It was loud. Man, was it loud. I'm glad no one got hurt. After filming that story, Immaculate Mary, who staged the attempt for Just for the Record, were told that the world record would appear in the 1990 edition of the Guinness Book of Records, under the category of loudest rock group in the world. The crew were amused to read the advertisement for the House of Guitars, which claimed the world's largest music store was at three locations. Clever copy, because the store is on the corner of three streets, hence its claim to triple locations. Well, all's fair in rock and roll. Bye. Taking up the chance, you got